this video I'm going to work out an individual integral. It is going to be a pretty simple, straightforward integral that you would typically find in a Calc 1 class. Alright, uh, we're going to integrate e to the x plus 4 over e to the x dx. And in a problem like this, what you're going to kind of want to look for is you're going to kind of look, you've got something that's being added in that numerator, and you've just got an e to the x in the denominator. All right, a good approach here is to separate that numerator. All right, you can break that up into then um, two different integral problems, and it's going to make it a whole lot easier approach here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write this as the integral of e to the x over e to the x dx. All right, then I'm going to add the integral of 4 over e to the x dx. Just going to break that up into two separate integrals. Well, e to the x over e to the x is 1. So really, I've got the integral of 1 dx right here. All right, on this one, I'm going to go ahead and pull that 4 out in front. So let's pull the 4 out in front. And then that would be a 1 over e to the x. All right, let's go ahead and move that up to the top and use our laws of exponents and make it an e to the negative x so that I can uh, integrate. All right, when I integrate 1 with respect to the dx there, I'm just going to get an x. All right, plus a 4 here. Now, when I integrate um, e to the u, I have an um, e to the u. And keeping in mind, without actually showing a u substitution here, you're going to have a negative with that as well. So that would be times a negative e to the negative x, and then plus c. All right, clean that answer up just a little bit. Pull the negative out here in front. Make this go down to the bottom so we've got a positive exponent there. It's going to give us an x minus a 4 over e to the x plus c. Okay, so um, actually just a really straightforward integral that would be commonly found in a Calc 1 class. The trick here is taking a look at that numerator and seeing that uh, you can separate it into the two individual integrals. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.